So I made a bee farm. Just just thought you guys would like to know that. Hi, welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore and another episode of Josh Core. In the last episode, we made this beautiful beacon beams here to light up the sky. Still working uh, pretty well. Nothing has really gone on with that. However, in between episodes, I worked on a bit of a bee farm. I feel like uh, I, it's a small enough farm where I could have just kind of got it done off camera. Uh, in the last episode, I kind of talked about how I wanted to put a lot of farms around here and disguise them with these buildings. So I decided a bee farm is a good thing to just put in here because it's nice and small and it doesn't take up that much room. So I thought it was a good addition to add here. Uh, however, in today's episode, I have a couple things planned. I want to start with another big farm, uh, probably like a cactus farm, for example. I think we could probably put one back here uh, in the corner somewhere, maybe either on this side of the fence. No, get out of here. Get out of here, zombie. We don't need you. Maybe on this side of the fence or even brocking up this area here. Something to just kind of finally kind of put this area and this like frame it in because there's this big gap here. Maybe in between here or a smaller one over here on the outsides as well. We could put a lot of things on the outer sides of the, the area as well. Maybe even terraform this whole area. I'm getting a lot of ideas that are just circulating through my head right now. So I have a, a couple things we, we can try and do in today's episode. So should be interesting. Alright, so my plans have been made, and as you can see by this area down here, this is going to be where I'm going to build the cactus farm. So it's going to be set up right around here in this area. It's going to be a taller-ish building. I have a design in place because there's there's not many that many designs you could possibly do for a cactus farm. So we're going to put it in here. I have to let these trees get away a little bit here. However, uh, I think this area will look good here. And then what I'm going to do with this fence is I'm going to probably destroy this because I want it to be somewhat close to this building, but I don't want it to be like approaching in on it. That would be bad for the design of the town but I'm gonna destroy this wall here uh, I'm not gonna do that now I can't be bothered however if we bring it around this way I think it would be cool if it ends here and then we have like a bamboo forest back here which means I might have to make a bamboo farm I'd actually have no idea where a jungle is I've never gotten any jungle wood so I might have to do a little bit exploring uh, and find some some jungle uh, areas and then build a bamboo farm which I might also do in this video and then we can build up the bamboo forest in the back here which will also kind of serve as protecting for mobs to get in here so uh, i'm gonna probably do that and i'll be back in a little bit okay some time has gone by and as you can see with the cactus farm it's all built up uh the biggest problem that i actually had while doing this was i didn't have enough cactus like literally only had five cactus in my storage system over there so this is as far as it got but i figured it will get more cactus over time i set the hopper line here to hopefully collect some uh the, the big another big problem i had here was uh the whole issue of the design, the way I, I use this, oopsies, uh, the, the big design I use here is the, the walls here, which maybe it makes it have a little bit more like indent, uh, indentment levels. What's the word I'm looking for? A bit of shape, I guess. Depth, depth. That's the word I was looking for. So some depth to it, uh, which I used here. Uh, however, uh, it, it might catch some of the cactus like in this gap here so i might be losing some of it which isn't that big of a deal uh, i'm not too concerned it doesn't need to be a perfect farm uh however i would like it to be semi uh, uh efficient because uh green dye is always important to have around although I, I again i don't really need that much of it so it doesn't need to be perfect uh however that is basically the farm all finished here i'm gonna do the outer bits now and i'll be back again in a little bit so there we have it. That is the cactus shack, as I'm going to call it. I think it looks pretty cool over here. I'm just chilling in the corner. I did a bit of a different design, focusing more on the glass windows. So instead of having uh, this kind of design where it's the same uh, bushes and stuff, it's just more of the glass. And it's kind of pushed back one so I can put the lanterns in there. I also don't have a very good access to the, the outputs here, although I think this is the spot. Yeah, so we have five cactus in that amount of time, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we're going to have to come up with a better way for that area because right now it's a pretty bad collection system but i'll make one uh very shortly uh, however i want to wander off and try and find a jungle uh and then once i find that jungle i can gather a couple bamboo and then make uh a very similar to this sugarcane farm maybe even take out some of the sugarcane and put the cactus there uh or not cactus the bamboo put the bamboo where that old sugarcane is and then have a little bit of a bamboo farm i don't want to make anything major because uh, I don't really need a bamboo farm at the moment. There's not really a need for it. But I'll gather a bit of it to make the back area for the forest in the back there. So I've found a jungle now. And right now I'm just going to focus on getting some of the jungle wood. Because as you can see, I've never gotten it before. So it's pretty cool to finally get my hands on some of the rarer wood in the game. 
Don't know what I'll use it for, but it's just good to have. So, uh, another thing I found is a whole ton of bamboo. To the point where if I just destroy a couple of those stems of them, I don't even know if I'll need to make a farm. Because I'll gather so much here in the first place. So I've made it back home to the point where I'm thinking, I don't know if I need to make a bamboo farm. I gathered so much bamboo just from that one trip and just destroying the taller stacks of bamboo where I think I'm just going to start on the bamboo forest back here and see how it goes, honestly. I have no really plan for this. I'm replacing a whole ton of bamboo back here on the hillside around here just to prevent mobs from getting back here. I also think we'll add a nice backdrop to the town. So I'll see how it goes. We might have to destroy it later, but it's going to be worth a shot to see how it looks. So I think it turned out pretty good uh, overall. I think it, it it definitely is got room for improvement. I think the section over here in particular, there's not much like bamboo. I didn't really put it over there. Same thing with the overall top. I don't know how it's going to be. I just want to see like what it will look like with all the bamboo fully grown because that might add extra height where I might need it. Like, for example, if there's height on these up here and they're fully grown, I might not need it at the top of the hill because it will just add extra height. That's unnecessary. So these sheep are annoying me. I feel like I'm being overpowered by their their buying. Their buying? Their noises. I'm being overpowered by that. So I'm just going to go over here and ignore them. But anyways, I think it came out overall pretty well. So let me know what you guys think in the comments about it. But I think it overall turned out well. Uh, one thing I'm going to do now is put away all of this junk because it's just it's overwhelming the inventory at the moment. And I think it's just gotten out of hand. So we're just going to throw it all away. Uh, also... I have, yeah, there it is. Another full shoker of bamboo that uh, was never used. So, just throw it all away over here. This is future Josh's problem. Or is it? I think it's gotten to the point where future Josh is now present Josh, and I should probably deal with all of this. So, I'm going to quickly put all of this away. So, there we go. Everything is now fully packed up here, and I got to say, it looks pretty good with all of this area in the storage center. Never really thought about the how much room the, uh, the shulkers took up here. Uh, in the meantime, though, the bamboo has been slowly but surely growing guess that shows how long that actually took it wasn't that much time the bamboo didn't grow nearly as much as i thought however i still think when this is grown it will look very nice on the backdrop here also looking really nice is our cactus farm here which uh, i probably can get to the point where i can start placing in more cactus apparently one has been gathered wow amazing anyways uh in this time i probably will fill up the cactus time uh farm in between this episode and the next uh fully finishing this uh but in the meantime i'm probably gonna end the episode there got a lot of work done with the cactus farm and the baboon farm or the the, ba the cactus farm and the bamboo hill over here the bamboo forest which i gotta say is turning out really nice so that's probably gonna be an episode for me today guys if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and if you really liked it make sure to subscribe thanks again for watching stay tuned for more